Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now, we're going straight to war with the Troll War, in which they're going to beat us up. we got a couple comms to go through, but hopefully we do okay here, even though I... Actually, this you don't know this, but this is my second attempt playing uh, with the 80s here against these fine, fine folks called the Troll Warren. Hopefully we can do okay, but my god, I hate the Troll Warren because they cheat sometimes. Um, like I said, this is my second time trying this, and you can tell from my voice, I don't like them very much because... Well, I've already lost them once, and right now we're trying it again, and this time I'm assaulting from the very beginning, so... We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, the Troll Warren somehow, like, at least from my experience trying to do this a little bit earlier, they had infinite manpower somehow. I don't know if it's a glitch or something in the game, but they they somehow get infinite manpower, so... Um, let's take a look, shall we? Dive bombing. Oh, let's see, not bad. They have 4,000 manpower right now. Not bad, not great. But, eventually, it, it just becomes infinite manpower for them, so... Like, it, it's really, really bad. So they're attacking us here. You know, we're not going to be great on defense, obviously, because we're motorized. You know, whatever. I did core one more state around here, too. At least we didn't circle some place, but... There was one comment from yesterday saying we should attack through the antelope tribes. Not a bad idea. Really not a bad idea. Look at a lot of damage we're doing. I love it. Um, yeah. This is, like I said earlier, this is my second attempt doing this. Just because... No, well, looks like we're doing okay, though. For now. It always starts off okay, but they're still attacking us. And just attacking, attacking, attacking. Um, we would have lost 4,300. They lost 5,000. We did it in a circle group, so that's actually what was kind of nice, but... Yeah. The Troll Warren? I don't know how or why, but... They might be cheating, because... If I remember correctly, Super Mutants, probably out of any type of division you could use, have the absolute worst in terms of organization. It's pathetically low. It's like 30. 30, 35, something like that. These guys have organization of 61. So, and even though we don't have that much armor, and I think they do have anti-tank on their divisions. Uh, no, those guys don't. Let's see. Some of these guys do have anti-tank. There you go. And they can pierce us, which makes sense, but... Like, it, it's a bit ridiculous what happens here. So... As you can tell from my boys, I'm really not happy with the Troll Warren. I hope they all die. Just because they're not easy to take out for some reason. Yeah, actually, they made new Mariposa, but I don't care. I really don't care if they take out new Mariposa or not, so. Uh, so okay, so we got some more manpower. That's good. That's good. But they're going to find more manpower. They're going to find somehow to make infinite manpower, which is really going to piss me off probably again. Uh, sorry to be. I apologize for being a little. Mm, I'll say angry. But a, a little uh, frustrated, we shall say. Look at that. Just frustrated with the god dang troll warren. And my goal is just to bleed them out. Like, I don't care how many losses we take. We've lost 8,000 versus their 7,000. We're taking more casualties than they are. But, I wasted so much time off screen trying one strategy and it didn't work out, so. And it pissed me off, as you can tell. Uh, we still got a good amount of map. And I'm trying to build up forts too and dick shooter and such, so just in case. But, oh, actually, let's make sure we do this as well. Keep technology. Pause. 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 I don't remember the last time New Mariposa had that much encryption, but then again, we're not that advanced ourselves. We're just we're just like a Raider Nation. And just in case, I'm going to raise up my conscription level. We're going to need it. We're going to need a lot of manpower for this. We're going to need a lot. Trust me. Uh, Hinchy Smith, we got anything here? No. Like I said, though, we do have some comments to go through. Uh, let's go with that person for more land on attack. And of course, if they come into our lands, then we they can deal with the resistance. And once they have no manpower, that should make things much, 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 much easier. But then again, you know, we're still on defense. And defense isn't great for us since we're motorized. And they're still winning some areas. <sighs> I hate the Troll Warren. I don't understand this. I really don't. With absolute air supremacy, how are they able to do this much damage? Like, I'm not going to stop attacking. Like, attacking, defending just for us, it's just god-awful. Like, if you come over here to our land, doctor, we actually lost... And max entrenchment with mechanized forces, which I still don't like this tree. I really just don't think it's worth it still. It's just not worth it, in my opinion. There's not as many benefits, at least from what I've seen, compared to other stuff. Like here, 10% soft attack. That's pretty nice, but that's for sport companies, of course. So that should be recommended. I don't know. This side of the focus tree, or the land auction, still not good. Just still not good. When you get, oh, if you can get mobile, like, four fire bases, that's so good. That is ridiculously good. Mobile fortifications, that's what it's called. So, I don't know. Mechanized Warfare? Still not for me. I still don't like them. Still don't like it. Not worth it, in my opinion. But I've said enough time. Someone recommended it in the comments. Try out the War in the Heavens submod for Equestria War. Well, uh, yeah, sure, why not? We could try that sometime. I'm not sure when, but we could try it sometime. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know about that mod. 
I don't play a ton of Equestria War, but yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Hey, look, they're out, they're all, they say they're out of manpower, but let's be realistic, they're not. They're not out of manpower. They're never going to be out of manpower somehow, some way. Hey, look, we have more, oh, we must have lost a few divisions to get that much more back. We're still trying to make some divisions here, too. So, and you can see we made tanks, and they're just killing our divisions off. So, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like, I don't understand how we can't win against these guys when we have air superiority. And we do enough ground damage, so. Uh, let's see. Someone recommended, like I said earlier, cut them off at, new, at the Antelope Tribe. Well, I'd love to. We got Wasteland Tanks, which are nice, but it's not going to be enough. Let's see. What up is next? Ooh, let's make sure we got enough energy as well. There we go. And then Hounds of Kaizaw. Very good. Very good. Anything else? Eh. We'll wait there. We'll wait with what we got. Let's see. What else? Ooh, try out the Swimmers Federation with because there's because I said there was a sub mod. Try out the Hand War Band. Try out the Warden. Try out Lanius. I should play the Sky Reavers to get the alien racing. Try them out. So I thought I missed a focus near the top of the focus tree. Uh, I don't think I actually did because it would have popped up here a bit if I did. So wait, why aren't you leaving? I'm telling you to leave, but you're refusing to leave. Oh my God! You literally got encircled after I told you to leave. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I tell them to leave, and they decide to not leave. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Uh, let's get some of this. More soft attack is always nice. It's not much more, but hey, whatever. We've lost 20,000. This is one of the costliest wars I've ever done in Old World Blues. And yet, look, they have infinite manpower. They have absolutely infinite manpower. They're still able to attack, attack, attack with infinite manpower somehow. Like, I know I shouldn't be attacking as much as this as I, as I am currently. But, you have to keep the pressure up on them, or you're just going to die. So, I, I don't know what's wrong with the Super Mutes, because I've, I've literally played as the Troll Warren here. Even after, like, I think, when we formed New Mariposa. They're not that strong. They're, I mean, they're pretty decent, don't get me wrong, but... They're not that strong. They're really not. Let's go ahead and stop attacking. Defend for now. I, I, I told you to stop, son. There you go. Hold, hold, hold. Defend. Entrench yourself if you possibly can. But... This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. They get infinite manpower somehow. I don't understand it. It's, it's weird, because usually when I fight the 80s, the 80s have infinite manpower. But when I'm fighting as the 80s, and we do pretty well in manpower, New Mariposa has infinite manpower. I don't understand this. Dick Shooter. I'll probably do Dick Shooter, maybe. I would like to core that. It's not worth that much manpower, but if we can core it, then that would get technically the manpower. And if they take over the region, then they have to deal with the resistance, which is absolutely something I want them to deal with. So... Oh, God, they're actually being smart here and trying to kill us off there, huh? Uh, get out of there. Go. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out. Why are we suffering attrition here? Road should be perfect, actually. If anything, road should be perfect right here, right now. I've been building ro roads for the longest time, which is a great song by Billy Joel, but still. Mm-hmm, 22,000, 14,000. Yet they don't lose any manpower. They're not getting any... Even the resistance is doing nothing to them. Like, Troll Warren? I think these guys are literally cheating in the game. Like, this doesn't make any sense to me at all. Also, someone said, is there a 40,000, 4, well, 40k mod for Hoi 4? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there's, maybe there's not. I'm not really sure, so. Maybe there is. I don't know. I don't. I honestly don't know much about uh, Warhammer, so... Look at that. They just win. They just win, 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 win with infinite manpower. Doesn't make sense to me. Yet, we already put... Oh, wait. I thought I put two guys here. There you go. Yeah, you can't lose there, son. If you lose, we everyone dies. So, yeah. Good luck with that. I told you guys to get out, and you disobeyed me again and again and again. Why? Get your butts out of there. Looks like they're finally taking some sort of attrition or some sort of hits. I guess you can tell. I I apologize for being a little ragey, but this is this is stupid. The troll warn are not that strong. I guarantee you it. 
They are absolutely not that strong of a nation because the land doctrine they have is not very good. It's okay. It's not bad. It's unique. I like it. But it's not that great. At this point, I'm, I think Refined Warfare is actually probably one of the better ones. Because compared to the, all the other ones, our path, like I've said before, not great. Oh, actually, let's go and do some of this. Personally, I think this is pretty darn weak with Mechanized Warfare. Refined Warfare, probably pretty darn strong. Asymmetric Warfare is pretty strong. Automated Warfare isn't too bad, but honestly, Conventional Warfare at this point, Mechanized Path, pretty garbage. Trooper Warfare is pretty good just because you, get, you can use mobile defense fortifications. That's pretty actually pretty gosh darn awesome. So, yeah, this is probably the weakest land auction in my, my opinion, which, you know, I might be wrong on some things, but whatever. All right, so it looks like we're holding out for, for now, and we've got to attack again. Like, I'm not going to just sit here because that's boring, and we've got other things to do. So we won't be moving around soon enough. I get... This is something I'd like to see in Hawaii 4. I wish you could see, or like, you see the, the front line system here. I wish you could just like, go, do this, like draw, you know, a little box over it and say, okay, cut this out of the line. And I want actually the line to fill up right through here, but that'd be really hard to probably program in the game, but it is what it is. Anywhere else we can core? Can we core this? Uh, I actually might core that, because we did raise conscription level already, and this would give us cores on this, which would be actually kind of nice. All right, so we've lost 24,000 versus 17,000. Not good. And we lost one of our trade nodes, actually, so that's... Oh, right, and god dang power. Uh, well, that's the case. Get rid of this. Don't even make these guys in. We've got some more research, which is fine and dandy. Let's grab some reinforcement, which will help out a little bit. I hope they love resistance, because they're... Oh, Kablats is actually dropping because they took it over. You know, that's what my plan originally was. Make sure that they can just deal with our resistance. At least we're holding for now. These pieces of garbage. I hate the troll warrant. I will kill off and hang up every single one of them if we can. Uh, at this point, I really want to take these guys out. So, I don't know if we actually can, though. It's in the tanks, though. There you go. It'll probably be better to go over there, but whatever. Good. Kill every single one of them off. No mercy. And yet, look, they still have plenty of enough manpower somehow. Twenty-nine thousand manpower in the field, no manpower. Period. Twenty-five percent. Actually, can we use these guys to raise resistance? Control trade, root out resistance. Uh, quite into network. No, hopefully they're doing that. Max entrenchment for them is going down, which is nice. They're still attacking here, my gosh. You guys are so pathetic. You're so pathetic, you can't even win on defense. Oh my gosh, that's so stupid. They can't even win on defense. There's literally no point to use th this land doctrine. Jesus Christ. Can you win here, maybe? No? Yes? No? Can you win here? Or at the very least, not lose. <sighs> Get, keep one of these guys here. No, you've got to move. I told you to move. Why are you not moving? Go, 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 go. I don't care what happens if we lose anywhere else. But I want to encircle them. Oh, they're doing last stand. Look at that. They're doing last stand there. Are you kidding me? So dumb. Grab some APCs. I, I apologize for this video. I did not want to do this video while me just being a little ragey. Oh my god. Just move in there, for the love of god. I mean, I don't understand. I'm never going to be using these motorheads again if it's going to be like this. This this land doctrine is for the birds, man. It is not worth using then. Holy cow. This is why I never wanted to use these guys anyways. They're so bad. They're not that good at all. <sighs> oh my goodness. I, I just, I apologize for this. I really do. I don't want to be like this. I really don't. And this is why I didn't want to play the 80s. Because <laughs> they're not that great. Even though they find, they some off, always find infinite vampire as well, but whatever. Even this. 11 divisions. They're attacking with 8. And we're defending with 11. We're still losing with air superiority. How? How?
Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you... Are you kidding me? Are you... I'm about to say a bad word. I am so close to saying a bad word right here. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. This has to get looked at. I mean, this is retarded. Alright, well, I'm going in. I'm not going to wait any around any longer. Just go in. If you die, you die. I'm sick of waiting. I'm not going to waste time by just sitting there, waiting for them to get more resistance and stuff. Frugality is kept us, and this is what we reap. Our economic advisors are reporting some extremely troubling news due to our recent spending sprees. Our coffers are depleted. Indeed, our current non income wasn't enough to, uh, to offset our expenses, and as a result, we burned through surplus funds too quickly. If safe, assume that we're currently suffering minus 1.2% stability and a host of other terrible effects that have come in with our horrible fiscal situation, it's absolutely imperative that we put our efforts towards solving this crisis and getting our economy back on track. If we let this issue worsen for much longer, there's truly no telling what will happen to any of us. Heck, our people could even revolt against us, dip into the emergency funds. Well, that's. That's so stupid. Because of no fault of my own, I get punished. Pfft, are you kidding me? They take over my stuff. I can't do anything about it. Direct ground support. Information fighting. I mean, that's so stupid. They just sit there and just defend with last stand. No. Get out of here, you piece of the garbage. My god, that is, this is so stupid. This is beyond stupid. Because you're limited as a raider nation, because you can't develop yourself at all, so you can't develop trade nodes, and the only thing you do is attack other people's trade nodes, and then when you try to attack other people's nodes, you know, like the Troll Warren, you get pushed around, even though you have air superiority, and you have pretty good, you know, soldiers. You know, our soldiers are not the best, obviously. But, it just doesn't make any sense. It just does not make a lick of sense. Uh, what do we want? We got 300 political power, so... 10,000, 13,000... 13,000 pretty good. I did want to call New Canaan. New Jerusalem's not bad to do, either. Uh, let's do New Jerusalem. Get slightly more manpower. Maybe a few more scrap metals. Circuitry, that type of good stuff. I'm not I'm not going to stop attacking, though. I refuse to stop. Why can't we see our divisions? Oh, maybe we can. There's no one there, though. Do we get a trade node back, maybe? Crow's Haven? Well, that will help. And yet our guys do nothing. What the heck is wrong with you? I hate to get at the game lags this hard. No! Oh my god. Yeah, Hoi 5, whatever the next Paradox game is, it's gotta have a new engine. I can't deal with stuff like this. My CPU is too good to have this much lag. Ugh, they need a new engine. I'm sorry, I'm just complaining so much in this episode. I apologize, guys. I really do. But, it pisses me off. This absolutely pisses me off. I'm not sure how people can do this for realsies then. Like, I'm doing the best we can here, but <laughs> I do not recommend the 80s if it's going to be like this. Or the Troll Warren's got to get nerfed or something. This is stupid. That's, that's good so far. We're going to run out of uh, energy soon. Oh my god, just attack and kill them off. You know, it's weird how the generals, even though the field marshal tells them to be aggressive, the generals are like, nah, don't feel like it. Did we ask him how you felt like it? I told you, that I gave you an order, like, what the heck? Uh, let's go with not gun, not sniper, eh, 1% more is not great, but not bad. Force it, I don't care. At this point, hopefully we've broken them and cut up. That's not enough manpower. That's not enough manpower. I want to see bodies hanging in the streets once I'm done with this. I'm bringing back slave labor. I wish I could bring it back. I really wish I could bring it back now. I'm going to go... I, we got to get more population. I, 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 I hate this. I really, I, I'll be honest with you. I hate the Troll Warren so much. Because they cheat. They literally just cheat in the game. Like, I don't understand how they had infinite manpower at one point. Like, When I tried this the first time off screen, they literally just infinite manpower. Constantly. Even if they're taking a bunch of resistance... They had infinite manpower. I don't think that's very fair. So, God, I gotta stop complaining. <laughs> so, if you're still watching, thank you for watching. <laughs> All right. So now at this point, we gotta split these guys up a little bit better than this. Uh, I just in this episode, I just wanted to really just take out the NCR. I don't want to take out New Mariposa, but hey, here we are. Uh, you guys head on up here. Mm, head on over here. You guys go up there. 
That should be good enough, but hmm. I just want to take out the Timberline. I guess that's kind of good. How many divisions do I have left? Six? Pfft, that's six too many. I think from here on out, in any campaign, my goal is always just to string up the Super Mutants, because it's just ridiculous. You saw how far they pushed us back, and then we came all the way back over here. I mean, how, why? What, what was the reason for that? Look at all the stuff we've got to deal with now. All this resistance? So stupid. That's so stupid. And this is why I don't like using vehicles. Absolutely 100% of the reason why I don't like using them. They're just not strong. I'd rather have a bunch of infantry, honestly. Next time I play the 80s, infantry only? Because we, we even have tanks here, too. Like, we have tanks in our, in our lines. It's nice and fun to have these guys move around very quickly, but just, they can't compete. They just cannot compete. Is these here still at War of the Legion? Oh, uh, yeah, they kind of are. I kind of want to see what happens first, though. Hmm. New Mariposa. It, it, it wasn't worth it. It just was not worth it. I mean, they're not, I, I would say they're not overpowered, but they're so, too strong to the point where they can just pretty much run us over. Which makes no sense when we have air superiority and enough, you know, soldiers here. So, I, I would highly recommend maybe the devs look at these guys again. Because super units aren't not, are not that strong. Like, I've played as them before. They're they're pretty good. They're pretty good soldiers, but they're definitely, definitely not that strong. Maybe our soldiers just suck, but I don't think so. Especially, like, our motorized divisions. Defense is pretty adequate, I'd say. It's not great since we lost some, um... Uh... I can't think of the word now. I can't think of the word. God dang it. Eh, it doesn't really matter. I mean, our guys aren't perfect. The defense is okay. Attack isn't too bad. Air attack is pretty decent, I'd say. Actually, we did all that air attack. Is it just... Do you guys have air attack? Plus three. Maintenance. Uh, maybe it was fire teams. You know, it's plus ten. You know, maybe it's just adding up overall. But, these guys really aren't that bad. They've got a lot of HP. A pretty decent amount of organization. Yet, they just lost. They just lose, 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 lose. Which, for no reason. Literally no reason. But, you know what? It's good to learn. It's good to learn to not use motorized in the future. I'd rather just stick to asymmetric warfare. Like, it, it just, it's not worth doing anything else, really. Maybe refined warfare, but... Any of you using robots, other one. Refined, no... Uh, atomic war, automated warfare. But this... This side... No, never. I'm never doing this side again. <laughs> Even when I play as 80s in the future, I will play trooper warfare probably again. Vehicles usage. It's not worth it. Oh, there's a piece of Hey, there they go. Uh, motorized deployment. Armored assaults. Economic research is, is good. Armor hardening. Alright. Uh, yeah. Not much we can really do here. Some more refined mixtures. Maybe we get some recon companies. <sighs> yeah, this land auction. This does nothing for anything but tanks. Armies, almost nothing. Almost really nothing. Recovery rate's okay. Speed doesn't really matter. And reinforce rate doesn't really help you in the battle. Not too much. So, these guys suck. They really suck. I don't want to use these guys again. <laughs> I mean, maybe if you have like two or three of them to speed around and circle somebody. But other than that, not worth it. Just not worth it. Alright, so what's up next? Well, we gotta get more manpower. Gotta put down oh, so much resistance now for some god awful reason. Um, yeah, we gotta do these guys next. New Canaan. We could raise the conscription level, but I'm not going to. Oh, and Gordon, anyways. Nice. 240. Ah, we got the 20% reduction in coring bonuses, so. That's actually kind of nice. And get more factories, get some more resources. That's always pretty bueno. Anything else around here? Still trying to put more metals or more energy. We should probably build our own. Oh, let's do it there and do it there. Since we just cored that area, that'd be kind of nice. Build a lot more divisions. Yeah, let's take out someone else, maybe. Let's take a look at this. Compliance. Well, that's probably one of the costiest wars I've ever had in 
old world blues for literally no reason. Uh, that's pretty high. Let's hop up um, down there then. That's the case. You know what? I'm just gonna switch these guys to eradication for now. It's gonna cost quite a bit more manpower. But that's all right. Wow, well, we're actually mobilizing some more, so we get up to well more than what we should have. All right, not bad, not bad. And that dropped our manpower because trying to eliminate resistance is just not very fun. Not very fun. You look at that, 101 divisions. Holy cow! And it might not help. We not we not definitely don't have enough infantry armor. So give about five more seconds, and then we'll switch back over to pacification. 20.4. Hopefully, it'll be dropping down to 20.3. Or it goes down by 0.5. Not bad. And that wow, we got 5,000 more manpower back. Not bad. Now we need. 2100 pieces of armor, 2200 pieces of armor, and probably even more armor. That is what it is. Uh, we'll do that then. There you go. That should help out, right? We can only get 2.69. Not bad, not bad. Uh, they rejected tributaries, whatever. Uh, let's grab some more stability. How about that? That'd be pretty nice. Or sort of Spanish for armory, why not? We could excavate the lab. We're going to do this as well. Advanced ballistic weaponry, might as well, right? So, that'd be good. How much money do we have? Not enough. Care package. Let's do some of that. Alright, not bad. Don't need to see this, because I don't really care. Tax him, because he can, probably, hopefully. Anything else? Drastic measures we don't really care about. Research speed, water... All right, not bad overall. Hmm. Resistance should be going down pretty much everywhere, especially with new citizens' gear package. Appliance is looking not too bad. Uh, yeah, not too bad. So, actually, how much money are we making every quarter? That'll be good to keep an eye on, because I'm going to make a massive army from here on out. 264 is not enough. I'll be honest, that is absolutely 100% not enough right now, because we're going to have a massive, massive army. Uh, but other than that... There's not much else here. I mean, for really for this episode, I wanted this episode to be the last episode here, but it's not going to be. The troll warrants just pissed me off way too much. We're, we'll have one more episode in which we will take out the NCR. Oh my goodness, that, that's really ugly. Um, yeah. So, what, we'll, what I'll probably do is just play this a little bit more off screen. And the next episode, we'll have a huge army. A massive army. One of the biggest the Wasteland has ever seen. And go to war with the NCR faction, which might... Piss me off some more, but it is what it is. And actually, the Western Brotherhood of Seals still exists, huh? Oh, well, I guess we'll end it here then. Regardless, hope you enjoyed this episode, no matter what my rage was like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we will end this campaign. And hopefully I won't be as ragey in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.